Here are three major mistakes that the sellers make when selling their property. My name is Vladimir Westbrook and I love making real estate simple for buyers and sellers in Bay Area, California. Staging is one of those items that some sellers don't want to invest in in order to save their money, and I, I get that. But staging is actually one of those things that brings positive return on investment when selling a property. Think about it as a buyer. You could go to a house that is a bit cluttered, maybe has some seller's personal belongings, or you could go to a house that looks like it's from a cover of a new home magazine. Which one is gonna feel better? Exactly. And that's how buyers perceive it. And if they feel great after touring this house, chances are they're gonna be willing to offer a little bit more money for your house. And for that reason, staged homes sell quicker and for more money. Showing availability is also crucial. The houses that perform best are the ones that are vacant and can be shown at any time the buyer wants to see them. Now, on the contrary, the houses that are not available for showings and can only be shown during weekend open houses, they perform worse because less buyers see them, less buyers make offers on them, so they may take longer on the market and sell for less money. And finally, let's talk about wrong market expectations. It's also more common during the market shift when sellers are chasing the prices of the hot market that was not too long ago. You know, my neighbor sold it for this much and that's what I wanna sell it for. And if they're not adjusting for the shift in the market, that may lead to staying longer on the market because the property is overpriced. Houses typically don't sell because of the marketing or the price, one or the other. So if you market it really, really well and even invest a lot of money into marketing, but it's priced wrong, it's gonna stay a lot longer in the market and may actually sell for less than if you would have priced it a little bit lower and attracted more people to see it and make offers. So these are the three major mistakes that the sellers make, but there's some other ones, minor ones in the middle. So if you want to talk about it and make sure that you are not doing these mistakes when you're selling your property, let's Zoom about it. Go on zoomvlad.com and let's talk.